been a long time. So I'm in uh, 24 minutes. We want to stick around. I'll answer all your questions to the best of my abilities, and we'll go from there. So if not, I'll see you. Thanks for stopping by. If not, let's get into a little Q&A. Ah, time for modding. <laughs> let's see. Where'd I go? That's weird. Doesn't give me the uh, the stars. Oh well. Uh, question number one, always about flare token comments. Do, 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 do. I we know it's the Q and A. Okay. Florida Driving says, "What's going to happen to the flare token when their airdrop since the bankruptcy was filed before the airdrop? What are your thoughts? They're going to keep it, probably. I mean, look, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a bankruptcy expert." and uh, certainly not an exchange expert. But um, for this one, I mean, Celsius is even asking the question, should we be able to claw back your crypto that you took out 90 days before this collapse? So if you think that they're gonna give you a flare, it's not happening. That's just me, I could be wrong. Ah, daggummit. What's the latest with Meld? I don't know, I gotta get Ken on here actually. I haven't really been doing too much. I really, you know what? Let's, we should do that right now. Let's see. Let's see if I do this right. Uh, Twitter. At Eld Labs. Hey. Like, you know, eh, let's just do that. Okay. So let's just do that. Let's see what they say. I hope that answers your question, Chris Cardinal. What's your opinion about Moon River? I have no opinion. I don't really know what it is. I don't know a lot of projects out there. Uh, I just kind of stick to my wheelhouse. That's it. It's a great question. It's a great question. Why are bubbles round? I don't know if anybody can answer that. But why aren't they square? Yes, this is not what Dan live tweet show. Uh, Beardy wants his plenty. Yin. Oh. Uh, oh yeah. Look, Yin. And everybody who asked that, well, I get it. You want the, me to answer that question. Look, just because I don't know about Moon River or invest in Moon River doesn't mean it's not an awesome uh, project. I've missed many projects, and I'm going to miss a hell of a lot more. So uh, maybe it's awesome. I have no idea, but I can't give you any, any uh, feedback on that one. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it's a good question. That's a great question. Melvin says, why is there so much fear with Coinbase when they seem to have made a lot of good decisions with regards to 3AC, Voyager, and Celsius? It's because nobody trusts anybody. That's what it comes down to. I think you really have to look at why did Celsius and Voyager, why did they collapse? Well, if you listen to Alex Mashinsky, and if you believe Alex Mashinsky, uh, when they were a part of potentially to bail out Luna, they said, no, we're not going to do it. And we're not going to put any of, we're going to take all of the funds, all the user funds out of the anchor protocol, which from what he understood, what I believe he said that on my, you know what? How about, I should have him tell you that. Uh, not sure if I have it. I do have it. Hold on. Hmm. This is what Alex said on my show. I want to say, ah, I won't play. It doesn't matter. Alex said that they pulled everything out of Anchor Protocol and they, hold on, will it play? This is what he said. Here you go. Look, we, we, we have USD and Luna listed in our wallets. And when people give us uh, USD, we stake it to earn rewards, just like you would do yourself, right? So we do it on behalf of our community. The difference between doing it yourself 
and us doing it for you is that we monitor it 24 seven. And when we started seeing a DPEG, we pulled everything out mm -hmm. and we did that on behalf of our community. And again, we should get a badge of honor, uh, a medal <laughs> for my team, my, my security team, my risk team should get a medal for being one of the first to pull out all of that, uh, all these coins out of those protocols. Yeah. So I know like you, you talked about, he said that you guys had invested into uh, in Terra and uh, you'd have been, you know, probably getting some yield. When did you guys just decide or look at it and go, you know what, this doesn't look, this isn't good. We need to get out of here. So first we never invested in Terra. Okay. Uh, Jump, three arrow capital, uh, Galaxy invested in Terra. Celsius has never invested in Terra. I posted several tweets. Celsius Network posted several tweets debunking the FUD that Celsius somehow gave loans to Terra or invested in Terra. We don't do that. That's not our business. Okay. So that's what he said. So remember, so the question is, why is there so much FUD let me get out of here, uh, for, for Coinbase? So you got to take a look at why these places, these exchanges they collapsed. It was all because of really Three Arrows Capital and some other bad decisions. So Alex just said that they pulled it out. They said, well, you know, we pulled it out of uh, the Anchor Protocol. We didn't invest in a tariff. Sure, okay, right. But then there was an issue with, with these uncollateralized loans and Voyager did the same thing. So now the question is, well, did Coinbase do any kind of uncollateralized loans? Well, they wanted to, remember? They wanted to do the earn, their earn, own earn program. They, they went in to the SEC and said, we would like to do this. And Gary Gensler and, their, and his staff said, you're not going to do that. And if you do that, we're going to sue the pants off you. And I got to tell you, I know no one wants to hear this, but Gary Gensler was right. And uh, because he even took a look at the terms and conditions and go, look, you guys are co-mingling your funds and user funds. And that's what's happening over here. We're not going to let you do it. So I know people are pissed off at Gary Gensler and all the things that are happening with him. But on one thing, he was 100% correct. Sorry. So uh, if we take a look at that, they haven't done any kind of loans. Is there any other contagion that could happen? Sure. I don't know everything. Guess what? I'm just some guy on my mom's basement with a really cool green screen talking to you about things that are going on. But I don't have any insider information. Nobody trusts me that much. And if they would tell me, I probably wouldn't tell anybody else because I wouldn't want to get sued. So I don't know anything. That's just what's going on. And uh, let me know what you think about that. <laughs> That's what it is. Ah, uh, never trust the pull. -on. That's true. What? The Mel manager just DM me on Twitter. Go check it out. What'd they say? Oh, yeah. You want, you want to talk to Matt? Hold on. So there he is. Hey, Rob, what's the tweet? What's up with this, Matt? Yeah, people. Matt. People want to know what's the progress. Meld. Can someone come on the show? Talk. See what he says. Look at that. Getting things done. All right. Ah. Hey, Des. The Simon indicator, I'd love to have Simon on again. He was, he was my co-host, and we just went over the news. It was pretty good. I should, I should ask him. You know what? Why don't we ask him right now? Let's see. Mm. Uh, let's see here. Ah, I need to share my screen. <laughs> hey, it's Simon You. Can you come on the show and drop some knowledge? Everyone wants to know why I call you the sun indicator. All right, I'll go from there. Let's see what Simon says. Anybody else? 
Thank you, Long. I appreciate it. It is a straight fire. And this is from uh, the community, the D's Nuts community, matter of fact. They send this to me as a token of appreciation. Because <laughs> I've had I, I have one NFT I treasure, and that's the that's the D's Nuts NFT. If you have never, and this is not a joke, if you've ever gone to like their Discord group, it's fantastic. It's like the funniest thing you're ever gonna watch. And it's that kind of humor, but it's hilarious. So I should really add them into my description in all the videos. But yeah, they sent this to me. I thought it was pretty good. I always wear this one. So tonight over at Union, you can find me because I got this shirt on. That's a great question. Michael Payne says, hey, how can anyone uncollateralize that much money? Stupid. And that's a good question. How can you, because I got to tell you, when I take loans out, I got to collateralize to the hilt, 2X, 3X, 4X. But apparently if I'm a billionaire, I don't have to give any collateral. I got a long ways to go for that, though. Let's see. Oh, Simon Scott says bubbles around because of gravity. Interesting. <laughs> Jared, Jay says, in the king of the show we trust. I got to tell you, not my best decision to call myself the king of the show. I should really call king of the promo. But uh, that's on me. Johnny says, I don't know if this is true. Great interview with lawyers regarding sell. Alex will have to step down in the next 30 days. He is so scrawd. Hmm. Again, will Binance and Coinbase have liquidity issues? I don't, I don't think that's is because they didn't do loans loans. Matter of fact, I'm, I have a conference call with uh, somebody from Binance US at, in an hour. So we'll see. I'll ask the question. I am taking, I'm trying to. If I don't do it now, when are you going to do it? I believe people drink soup. Jump the green scheme. It's tough. Uh, when bust. Oh, that's a great question. I'm trying to get Rod's perspective on what he thinks the future would look like when it comes to the projects will be in the top 10. I don't think Bitcoin will be number one. So a long time ago, I used to do these things called price prediction videos. And I will probably never do any of those again because they get people so, the exuberance of people, they think, well, you know, Dan said it's gonna go to 150K, so that's, that's like rock solid. And then Dan said VGX is gonna go to $30, so I gotta get into it. I will never do those things again because it just gives you this, this false sense of like, well, one person said it, so it may be a reality. And I know it's, for some of you that's like, that's crazy, but it's how some people think. So. Uh, in the future, I don't know. I don't even want to speculate. I just think that uh, we just take a look at, we can't control the future. The only thing that we can really control is how we, how we react and plan for those future events. So that's all I'm really looking, looking forward to right now. I'm looking in like a, I mean, I look three, five, 10 years down the road and just go, what am I going to do? The same thing I'm doing today, which is essentially talking to people like you, uh, following my rules, understanding that uh, I should never invest more than I can afford to lose. But in my mind going, it's all gone. And the reason I say it's all gone is because I want people to, to look at that and go, it's all gone. So when they go, hey, I need to take my entire life savings and put it onto Moon River or whatever, they're like, wait, maybe that's not a good idea. Because if it's all gone, that's what it is. It's a very aggressive step to say things. I know some people say, you shouldn't say it like that. Well, too bad. That's how I say it. It's for me. These are my rules, not your rules. Next one is everything's a scam until I'll prove otherwise. You have to verify, don't trust. I don't want to leave anything on exchanges anymore. Not even my 3%. Uh, no leverage. I don't want to do any of that stuff. I've never done that before either. And some people can do it, but that's not me. And of course, I'm always going to remind myself to take profits. Me and Mullet have had discussions about this. And we're going to be on each other's backs to do those things. Take profits. So that's that. They don't sell the shirt. I think there's probably like a copyright trademark infringement if you, used, if, you, if you did this. That's right. Musket coin. <laughs> I got to stop giving out wrenches because people keep banning people. And I, I'm, so what it is is like I'm telling people like I know people are going to be ticked off at me for, you know, because whatever. So I'm like, don't ban people just because they're angry. That's not, that's a recipe. That's not a good recipe. Let them, ah, hey, there's Ken. <laughs> I 
The Ken from Meld, Ken Blau, the CEO. I don't think I can show you this though. It's everybody else. Hey, Rob, I see you reached out on Holly until 28th. Can we schedule one call? Of course. Of course. Here's the link. Great. So Ken, the CEO from Meld is on holiday until the 28th, and then we'll have him on. So we'll have him on in August or so. Good? Great. Uh, let's see. Sell is being accused of pumping sell price with customer Bitcoin. I don't know why they want to do that. There's a big sell short campaign going on, so I don't know. Well, that would actually make sense. They're shorting everything. Everyone gets a wrench. Uh, <laughs> crypto, crypto Jack Laver says, regarding the 90-day clawback clause, that might be a bad thing. If they do that, they'd be the most hated project of all time in all of crypto. Good job, Waves, making things happen. <laughs> Everybody, it's okay. Uh, I like Metallica. I'm actually pretty good with a real wrench. No, 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 you don't understand. So I know there's one blockbuster that's open, but the rights to the blockbuster, trade, blockbuster trademark is through a pretty big company. I forgot who owns it, but uh, the blockbuster DAO tried to get it from them. I want to say it's not Citibank, it's somebody else. So you can't use this. Intellectual property is pretty tough to, to come to get through. Thank you, Capo. I'm not your dad. Now that will be a great t-shirt. Mm. Ah, look at that. There's a conference in Denver. Are you going to go rare bloom Cardona conference in Denver? Probably not. I'm just not a, I'm not a, not a big conference person. The only reason, just between us, the only reason I went to the consensus one is uh, I saw some friends over in Austin and uh, just to play volleyball. And then uh, during the off times, I went to the conference and just, and the, and the only big, big reason I went there was I wanted to meet the CEO of Near and I wanted to talk to the CEO and the CTO and everybody else from Sweatcoin. And I knew they were going to be there. So that was it. And then uh, I missed Charles Hoskinson. That's uh, <laughs> Because I went there to go play the level. Yeah. All right. It's funny. I think that's it. Oh, let's see what Ken says. Super. All right. And uh, sweet. So good news. Simon says, let's do it. All right, check your messages. Check your DM, should be a good one. And in, ca and in case you guys don't know who Simon Yu is, he's the, he's the founder of uh, StormX. And he's the one that's given me some pretty invaluable insights into the crypto market. So he's been around since 2014. And uh, that's all I'll say, because I don't want him to get in trouble. And that's it. All right, so everybody, uh, I want to say thanks for stopping by. I think uh, we're good to go today. If you're in El Paso, remember, we're going to be, well, there's two things to remember, please, which is, uh, let me pull this up here. Uh, da, 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 da. First of all, here's your draft house. It's on the east side. There's a link in the description. And it looks like that. Uh, so you can go to the website and find the address. And then also, don't forget, come with me in about 20 minutes, Twitter Spaces with Simon Dixon. They're going to talk about what's going on with Chapter 11 and what the, what the next progress will be, I suppose. And I'll let Simon explain all that stuff to you. So that's on Spaces, Twitter.com, blah, 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 blah. And uh, that's it. So uh, that's all I got for today. Thanks for stopping by. And if you could just do one thing, the like button, that would be fantastic. You don't have to subscribe. I'm here every day, so just stop by. And I'm usually by the same time. And uh, that's it. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. Everybody, 
hanging out with me for, for these 44 minutes. Uh, so that's it. Thanks so much. See you on the next one. Adios.